To me, I think if you're an investor looking for a double in two, three years, which is really like, you know, 25 to 35 percent annualized return, which is really good. I think this is a decent bet with a little bit low downside. That gentleman there was Munish Pabrai discussing his thoughts about Meta stock in a recent interview with Divya Narendra. So Meta stock price has recently dropped 48% from its peak of $378 per share to $196 per share. And Munish thinks that investors now can easily double their money by investing in Meta stock now. Why does he think so? Should we actually buy and hope for 100% return in the next few years like he say? And what are my thoughts about this? Wait, who on earth is actually Monish Pabrai? Monish is a well-known disciple of Warren Buffett and he closely follows the principle of value investing. He founded Pabrai Investment Fund which has performed very well over the years. If you had invested 100,000 in his funds in 1999, that investment would have grown to 1.8 million by March 2018. That's an average return of 16 percent a year. Not bad, right? The person who interviewed him was Divya Narendra. Now, if you watch the Social Network movie, you know that story about Facebook? He was the guy that was played by Max Minjela, one of the original trio with Winkle Wars twins who sued Mark Zuckerberg for stealing their ideas. So, both of these gentlemen had an hour-long discussion about Facebook stock valuation and the future of Meta. It was really a gem to listen to it and to understand their thoughts on this matter. I've attached a link to the interview in the description below and I'll suggest you watch it if you have time. But I know many of you sure know Taiman lah. So here's just a summary and the excerpts of what I think are the most important parts talked about in this interview. We have a we have a meta market cap, I checked this morning, of 586 billion. And then, you know, maybe if you take out uh, like 50 odd billion of cash, get to like a uh, enterprise value of like about 536 billion. And then net income is, you know, 40 to 45 billion type of run rate. And then, you know, they're spending about 10 and billion, spending about 10 on, billion. On, on meta. So if, if you add that back, real net income is like kind of, let's say 48, 53 billion kind of number. So it's basically 11 times net income. One would have never thought we'd get to that sort of valuation on a business like Meta. Here we find Monish talking about the valuation of Facebook. Facebook in 2021 has recorded a net income of 46 billion and this is because they have spent around 10 billion on Meta. If you were to add this number back into their earnings, Facebook would have an earning of around 53 billion dollars. This means at the current market price, Facebook shares are actually trading only at around 10 to 11 times of their net income. As Monish mentioned, one would never expect a stock like Meta to be traded at such a multiple. At this current market, the S&P is trading around 19 to 20 times the earnings. So on this background, Meta is trading at an undervalued price. Monish also discussed about Facebook's user growth, where over the past few years, with more and more social media competitors, many are actually wondering if Facebook is losing out and if their user growth is slowing down, which will eventually threaten Facebook business and this is what he thinks one of the things when you look at it i don't think there's any other company on the planet any of these other large techs that have 3.6 billion users i think the the next two combined might not get to 3.6 billion so facebook is uh meta is in a very unusual situation because 3.6 billion the total number of internet users is 4 billion when you look at the users uh the, the total users that facebook has how is that going to grow does that need to grow with the current valuation and condition of facebook Facebook, Monish thinks that investing in Facebook at this current price is an easy double. My situation when I look at Facebook is that I see a company that revenue is not going anywhere. Their cash flows are not going anywhere. I think those are pretty uh, solid. I think the user base is pretty solid. So if I were to look at Facebook, I would say that even with 5 or 10% annual growth, it doesn't really seem like a big leap for them to get to. Ought to be a double at current interest rate. I don't have any issue with saying that Meta in two or three years is an easy double. I I think that's a, that's a reasonable bet. This 1st of July, we'll be holding a workshop on dividend investing. In this three-hour workshop, you will learn four things. How dividend works to your advantage. How to identify a good dividend stock using the logic investing framework. How to build an investment portfolio that generate passive income for you. And finally, how to confidently execute your investment strategy with a strong foundation. Joining this workshop, you're guaranteed to have the confidence and knowledge of picking a good dividend stock to invest in by the end of it. Seats are limited. So register now with 
with this link or by scanning the QR code shown on the screen. So now let's talk about what Monish finds so attractive about Facebook. In this interview, he talked about the core business of Facebook, which he finds extremely compelling. They are ad targeting. What I found extremely compelling about Facebook, this shirt came from an ad Facebook. And I have about 20 of them. And it's the only shirt I wear. I'm wearing shorts, you can't see my shorts, but I have only one, one type of shorts, which also came from Facebook. And these are brands that I would not have found. So I think their ad platform is incredibly good at targeting. I mean, just the kind of stuff I get served up is, is amazing. I mean, literally, like, they can read my mind. I have to agree with him. Facebook ad targeting is spot on. So many times when I'm just talking to my friends about certain topics, like, for example, I talk about washing my car, then a car wash service ad would pop up on my newsfeed just like that. It's like they can read my mind. And this next clip here, you'll find Monish talking about his expectation on the performance of Facebook stock in the near future. While he thinks that the stock can potentially double in the next two to three years, he don't expect it to go more than that. In fact, he thinks that expecting anything more than two times is actually more of a speculation. Looking for something more than a 2x, I tend to be skeptical. The way my mind works, everything related to meta is an option I'm not willing to pay for. In my opinion, I don't think Facebook themselves understand what meta is. As he mentioned, part of the reason for this skepticism is due to meta. He actually don't think that Facebook even understand what meta itself is. Monish actually thinks that meta is a very big thing and many companies have already tried to venture in the space. While they are early adopter in the space such as VR and other meta related technology, but there's yet to be any solid invention that's caught on with the masses. In fact, at this point, he finds the metaverse side of the business as something that he is not willing to pay for. In his opinion, whether or not Facebook will succeed in metaverse or not is something that still needs time to prove. And he sums up his opinion on investing in Facebook in this clip here. I think the current valuation is very compelling. I don't think one needs to even understand what they would do with Reality Labs and all of that. I think make a simple bet to double your money in two or three years, I think that's a that's a pretty low risk bet. There's no guarantees in this world, but I think there's a good chance you can get a double in two or three years or less. And then in the meantime, you get the popcorn, watch the movie, put a lot of butter in the popcorn. And if there's things starting to pop, you can say, okay, I'll stay on for two, three more years and see if I can get another double. I know all of you are thinking that you want to jump off your chair and go and buy some meta stuff for yourself. But there's some things that I want to highlight to you. In fact, I think it's worth mentioning certain risks that Facebook is facing with its business. This is regarding Apple and Facebook. Facebook war on privacy. We know that Facebook's advanced ad targeting is mainly based on their ability to collect user data. But with the recent Apple new tracking transparency feature, it could affect Facebook's ad business. According to Facebook, this actually will cost them 12 billion in revenue loss. In response to that, we can see that Facebook has now tried to develop their own marketplace to deal with this. At least they can target people and make sales in their own app itself. They are also working on some basic ad targeting product. Regards to this, analyst Michael Nathanson estimate that the company will generate 129 billion in ad revenue in 2022, which is a growth of 12% from the previous year. Well, it's lesser than the years before, which is more than 30%, but it is still something. He also believed that Facebook will be able to muddle through this. But what do you think? So that's what Monish thinks about Meta stock currently and also some of my personal thoughts. Now, do remember that this content is not an investment advice. So if you want to invest, make sure you do your own research first, all right? But having said that, what do you think about Facebook stock? Is it a good buy now?